on the hollow cover. Oh, Betsy Krause is here. So Betsy, you know, this is um, Allison's preschool program. I, I absolutely know. I thought it would be fun. It is. It's a lot How are of you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How is Rosh Hashanah? You know, it, it actually ended up being very nice. And Rosh Hashanah is not a favorite. Uh, I can't imagine it would be. Um, but it, it ended up being nice. Went for a long walk on the river. Yeah. It, it ended up being nice. Well, that's good. So I actually look forward to Yom Kippur. So ah. I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to that. So just so you know, this is, um, okay, you know what this is. Okay. Gina. So this is my cousin, Betsy. Say hi, hi, Cousin Betsy. Hi, Cousin Betsy. Hi, hi everybody. Yeah, that's Raquel. Here. Okay, so guess what we have? Sam, come on over. Are you nervous about the dog? Are you nervous about the dog? Okay. You have you met Bernie? I know. I know. I know. I'm not nervous about. Bernie. All right, let me get. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. okay. I'm making you the do host. You know, do you, guess what? I have a song about letting it go today. Okay? Ooh, go today. Uh, you're you're about to become the host. Okay. Are you ready? First, we're going to do Shabbat is coming. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to get off so that oh, it'll yeah. look well for her. Coming, Shabbat is a coming. Shabbat is a coming. Oh, yeah. We're going to light some candles. Oh, yeah. We're going to light some candles. Oh, yeah. We're going to light some candles. We're going to light some candles. We're going to light some candles. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lily. Lily, what else do we need to do besides light candles? What? Come here. Should we do this stuff over here? I'm trying to get them in. Come on over. I know there's so many things to do. The doggy's kind of nervous from you. Tuff, come on over, honey. We're gonna drink some wine juice. Oh, yeah. We're gonna drink some wine juice. Oh, yeah. We're gonna drink some wine juice. We're gonna drink some wine juice. We're gonna drink some wine juice. Oh, yeah, we're gonna eat some. Wait till you see this one this week. Aliza and I made them. It looks a little different. Yeah. We're gonna eat some challah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna eat some challah. We're gonna eat some challah. Oh, we're gonna eat some challah. Oh, yeah, cause Shabbat. Is a coming, oh yeah. Shabbat is a coming. Shabbat is a coming. Shabbat is a coming. Oh yeah. So remember, but we sang this song. It goes like this: We sing Shabbat, then you say it. We sing, we sing Shabbat. Shabbat. Oh, you remember? Good yes, I finally okay. learned. We sing Shabbat. We, we sing Shabbat. We sing Shalom. We sing Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Lahad Lake Nair shouts Shabbat. We light the Shabbat lights. We sing Shabbat. We sing Shabbat. We sing Shalom. We sing Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. For a peri and we bless the Shabbat wine juice. We sing Shabbat. We sing Shabbat. We sing Shalom. We sing Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hamotzi lachem min haaretz. We bless the Shabbat bread. Come on over. We get them um, chairs. Um, yeah. We sing Shabbat. We sing, sing Shabbat. We sing Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Awesome. Come on over. You can come my seat. Welcome back. Come on over. Uh, our access is put in. Jackie and Gideon. Yes, hi. Come and sit down. Um, All right, come on over. Yay! All right, are you ready? Guess what we need to do? We need to fill up We need to make some chicken yep. food. And I have some things here that you might want to put in the soup. All right. So, do you want to choose one thing to put in the soup? You choose one thing. What do you choose? You want to grab What something? do you like in your soup? All right. Yeah. All right. Gezer. Carrot. Yeah. Gezer. Wow. Whoa. Do you know what that is? Yeah. No. no. It's a good gas. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. It's called parsley. Parsley. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Sorry. I should get my mask. Sorry. I, didn't, yeah. I just ran out. Brought stuff oh, over. Yeah. Um, yeah, there okay. are a couple of chairs here. Hey, Sam, do you want something in there? Hey, hey. We're making chicken hot meals. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, don't worry. Uh, thanks. I got some chill. This is my husband, Fernando. Fernando, this is Dan and Jackie. And that's their son, Gideon. And Jackie and Gideon. Okay, are you ready? Girls, did you want to put something in, Lily? Well, come on over here. I can't help you if you're all the way over there. Oh, thank you. All right. The first thing I'm gonna do is invite us to put. I need somebody to put in some. Do you want the sweet potato or the dill? Yeah. Mommy, I can't. Yummo. 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 Okay. Are you ready? Okay. 
pot. The chicken and the water in the pot. Stir it up, nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat. For Shabbat. Ooh, Gideon, what are you going to put in? Put All right, get it in the pot. Stir it up, nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat. For Shabbat. Stir it up nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat. For Shabbat. Everybody does this. What? This is a secret. Ginger. Yeah. Usually I peel it first. <laughs> <laughs> ginger in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat. For Shabbat. Put a turnip in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat. For Shabbat. Potatoes in the pot. pot, stir it up, nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat, for Shabbat. Put the celery in the pot, stir it up, nice and hot. Get it ready for Shabbat, for Shabbat. Benjamin? The dill in the pot, stir it up nice and hot, get ready for Shabbat, for Shabbat. Awesome. Now, I don't know about you, but Dino is knocking. Are you ready? There's a dinosaur knocking at my door, knocking one, two, three. The dinosaur knocking at my door. And we light the candles and then we drink the wine. Then we have some challah and we all have dinner together. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Knocking one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door, and he's come to have Shabbat. Yes, he's come to have Shabbat. Yes, he's come to have Shabbat with me. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, I think it's time. Let's. What's the first thing we? Candles. candles. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? What do we do when we light the candles? Are we, what do you do when you light the candles? What, husband? You do say a, a bracha, a prayer, but we're going to be very quiet. Okay? We're going to be very quiet, and we're going to make three, three circles. One for yesterday, one for today, and one for tomorrow. Okay? Are you ready? Echad, Shaim, Shalosh. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Kitshan, Yudem Yitzvotah, Vetsivanu Lahaveker, Shel Shabbat. Right, now guess what we have. Okay, so don't drink it just yet. Let's hold it, hold it, hold it. Are you ready? Don't drink it yet. Are you ready? Yep, we're gonna wait for the bracha. We're gonna wait for the blessing for the bracha. Sam, you want some grape juice? Thank you. Well, I'm sure Gideon wants some. And does Sam and Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Hooray, Pari Hagafen.
<laughs> Yum. Oh. Okay, you're not gonna believe this challah that Aliza and I made. It doesn't look like all the other halot that we've had. This one's different. Here you go, honey bun. Yeah. Thank you. Would you like to collect them, Lily? So have everybody put theirs inside yours, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you bring them to me, Lily, okay? Okay, watch out because those are very, very, very hot, okay? I do not. Are you ready? I do not. One. Good job. Two. Three. You ready? Woo! What's different about this hala? What's different about it? Mm, there's sugar on top. There's sugar on top, and there's something inside to make it very sweet for the new year. What do you think might be in there? Honey. There could be honey in there. There is honey. Top. Excellent. But something you can really see. You know what's there. a little bit. There, yes, there yeah. Is. And it's a different wow. shape than we normally yeah. have. What shape is oh, that? A it's a circle. Why do we have it? It's a circle. Does anybody know why it might be a circle? It could look like it's a crown. Yeah. Don't you think I could be like a king or a queen? No. You're a queen. Yes, you're Lily. A queen. Thank you. The year goes round and round and round. Just like, and now we're starting Thank you. a new year, the new year we just started, right? And we're about to have another holiday. Hold on, it's called Yom Kippur. Are you ready? Let's do it together. <laughs> you get what you get, and you just give it a try. It's sugary. I think you're gonna like it. I promise. I don't mm -hmm. have any sugar. Oh, well, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Yum. Just wave and it'll go away. Thank you very much. You have to try. Oh my goodness, it's warm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yummy. Hey, babe. What a good reader. You're so patient. And so there you go. Yep. Chew, chew fly. Or bye bye fly. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want some? Yep, I'll just grab this little piece. All right. Okay. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to. Oh, I don't have it with me. I want you to come on over here, guys. One I offer you Betsy, but. One minute. Come on over here. One more minute. Yeah. You can't get it. Sorry. God willing, you'll be able to come here and enjoy it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gluten free anyway. <laughs> anyway. Hey, boys, I want to tell you one more thing, okay? Yom Kippur is a time. Come on over for one minute. Okay. Well. It's a time when we start to think about how we could do a better Lily, job. Yes. And last year we took the bread and we threw it into the lake. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Thank you, Sam, for coming over. I really appreciate it. Yep. Well, we're going to just take our, our hand and make a fist. Can you make a fist? And we're going to tap our heart because we don't always make the best choices. And it's hard to make the, a, a good choice. So we want to Tap, tap, tap our hearts. Open up your heart. Say, open up heart, open up. It's time. It's time to say, tap, tap, tap your heart. On Yom Kippur, it's time to restart. Are you ready? Get your, get your fist. Everybody get. And tap, tap, tap. Are you ready? Tap, 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 tap your heart. Tap, tap, tap your heart. Tap, tap. tap. Tap your heart on Yom Kippur. It's time to restart. La 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 Wow, she looks so fancy. Wow, you look beautiful. Are you going to a wedding? Oh, I hope it goes so well. Congratulations, you look beautiful. Where is she going to? She's going to do her, um, 
a special, it's, it's called communion. It's when she starts going to Sunday oh, school, just like oh, you go to Hebrew school, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not in her temple, but it's in her church, right? There are lots of different things that we can do. I have more too. So remember, tap, tap, tap your heart and help you. I hope you start thinking about how you could make good choices, okay? Good choices, right? You could do a better job all the time. Try better, better, better. Be better listeners and better friends. I'm so glad you came today. Yeah. I'm so glad you came to our yard. Yeah, it, in another week, we're going to have our sukkah up right here. And if you want to come on Sunday, I hear a plane. Do you hear it? If you want to come on yeah, we Sunday hear a lot of and shake a... Yeah, or shake your lulav, lulav and, and have an etro, you can come here and I'll have a little snack for you too in the afternoon. And the week after that, we're going to celebrate the Torah. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a huge parade. A parade? A parade with the Torahs, and then we're going to dance. Join the challah? Yeah. And the grape juice? Do you want some, do you want to try? You want more challah? Come. All you have to do is just go out. Look. Yeah, we've got a lot. A I'm more? even going to have a little bit more. Go get it. Go get I it. hope I'll you'll be part of our grape. parade. What do you say? Grape juice. You will? You say? Okay, okay. Thank you. What do you say? You're welcome. Thank you for coming here. Yeah. Really you want a little like bit more? You're good. Though, You're good. Thank you. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, this one was really, really good. <laughs> I don't like a little bit. More. Okay, Baba Charlie is good. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Tom. Do you want some more? You, well, right. why don't you ask Rabbi Charlie? Say, can I have a little bit more too? Can yeah. I have a little bit more? Certainly, let me just get it Lily. for Wheeler like and then Lily, it will be yours. Then it makes me know what you want. Got it? All right. You live right at the beach. Can you believe that? You live right at the edge of the water too, don't you, Gideon? You gotta go tell him. You gotta go tell him. Do you want some more grape juice? Yeah. Gideon, this is Rabbi Charlie. Gideon and I met. Do -do -do. It looks like a shofar. Do -do -do. How are you guys settling in? We're good. Yeah. We're like pretty much almost all unpacked. Yeah. 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 But once we started, it's yeah. motivated me to do more and more because it makes a big difference. Yeah. But it takes a while to get there with all the other little things. It's painted too. So that started to kind of make it feel like, okay, it's yours. It's our space. We can paint, we can paint it whatever we want. Yeah. We chose white, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. but, you have the but that's nice and clean. It looks good. Yeah, oh yeah. It makes a huge difference. It, 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 just, it really did feel good. Yeah. We got up some of our artwork, our pictures fairly soon, and people would walk in. You guys just moved in. It looks like you've been here for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did Mora Moshe play the blow the show far for you? I bet he did. Did Mora Moshe blow the show far? Like and he does a lot of singing with you too, doesn't he? Oh, that—that's the beach. It is. It is. Right. I'm the playground. Yeah, I really like the beach one. He's so much slower than me. Do you want to go see it? We could walk over there. Do you want to walk over there and see it? Yeah. I unfortunately haven't gotten to the school yet this year. I don't know that I'm going to go just yet. I don't think they need somebody else in there. It's, it's you know they're doing drop off in front, right. and it's uh, they're still working out the kinks because it's there's a lot of traffic jam now. <laughs> and the gate is new. Yeah. And they put that in for security and. Wow. We finally got it working. And then we've got 
Yeah, it's it's a, you know obviously every every fall with all the holidays too. It's like it feels like it's not a normal week, not right. a full week yet. You know. So. But he's, he's adjusting well. Now he knows. Oh, let's go to school. He's happy. No problem. at drop off. It's, Great. It's like, I think they don't. Um, I think they've been very happy with the early childhood program. Yeah. You know, I um, we haven't had any members there uh, since they started it. But, you know, they're just to get on the board, we get wonderful reports. And I think they've, they've had some change in the directors. And I think that's gone very, very smoothly. So I think they've, uh, I think for a lot of things, Randy, the changes, they've done things about as smoothly yeah. as probably can be done. So that, uh, that has been good. I really like that they have the app, the, the Seesaw app, so where they... All right. So, like, you know, throughout the course of the day, they're, they're uploading pictures, and, and you can message the teacher directly in the middle of class. <laughs> yeah, when my daughter was there, they didn't have that yeah. yet. Um, but... Uh, you're getting, like, good. real time photos and updates, you know, and, and you communicate. It's great. Yeah, like, I to say that when my girls are at camp, it's like, yeah. wow. This is great. <laughs> now, I can now look at pictures every night. Where, uh, where do you send them to camp? Uh, camp Ramon, Canada. Oh, yeah. I went to Camp Ramon, the Poconos, but we were living in Canada, so that was yeah. where they were going to go. And even when we moved back here, uh, they said, do we still go to Ramon, Canada? I said, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's actually, I, so I'm... It has its unique qualities and um, <laughs> Poconos, we had the pool, uh, but this Mikorash is just, everyone meets to see everybody hanging out there on Shabbat, playing sports or talking and, you know, just brings everybody together. And, the lake is gorgeous. The lake is it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a gorgeous yeah. lake and part of a gorgeous lake system. Yeah. So, so, you know, they go on canoe trips mm -hmm. on the lake into uh, Killarney and uh, in the park. There's a huge, huge uh, park, um, which is gorgeous. I mean, it's just beautiful with lakes all over the place, mountains, and really a, a very beautiful camp. Yeah, I was impressed. My, my sister was was Roche Mahon one year, and I I was on swim staff. <laughs> Which staff? Swim staff. Yeah. So I got to uh, I, I got to be like the you know the, the non um, counselor staff member chaperone to go on the, the big Mahon trip. You know, oh, cool. Which was nice. So, yeah. My, my sister was a lifer. All eight years, multiple years on staff. Uh, you know, went to Israel and. Yep, I started as a camper in 70 through 74, then seminar in 76, then on staff from 77 through like 1990. And I've gone back to teach at Canada. And I was just thinking this summer, you know, let me go back to Poconos. So a lot of my friends are still there. It's amazing. Um, it's just, and I would totally, we got one of our friends here in the congregation his special needs, and they opened up a Tikva program at Poconos. They had one at, they had, well, they had one at Berkshire. Yes, they had one at Berkshire. And I mean, I think it was pretty much in every yeah. Ramah. I remember when it came, um, they started it in Canada, really, when my girls started. Yeah. And do, do you, it's, well, well the, the, don't, the guy that started at Berkshire's was uh, Ralph Schwartz. Yeah. I don't know him. You want, more, you want some more challah? We've got more challah if you want some more. You want some challah? No, oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna have some dinner soon. Thank you. Hey, dear, mm -hmm. pass, but here, pass. come on. Hey, thank you. I won't give you a too much, okay, well, but I'll that? give you a little bit of the That's sugar. Not too much, because we gotta have an appetite for dinner. No! Five seconds. Let me give you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, more than five seconds here.
Got it? Yeah. Uh, I'll put it on the dinosaur. Here, I'm going to put it uh, here in the uh, garbage. Yep, and then I got to go shave. <laughs> so my, my, my first year I worked uh, at, at Berkshire's, I, I, um, I was a, basically a one-on-one pick for a counselor for a special needs uh, kid. And, wow. Um, and, uh, and then the next year they, they had a few more kids and now they wanted a dedicated um, sort of like special ed. Special ed. So I, you know, I did like all the sports and swim stuff for all the pick for kids. You know, and then so I did that for a couple of years, and then you know, then I was just on swim staff. I ran the boating program, and um, but you know, I concentrated on make sure that like I taught all the, the special the, needs. Yeah, yeah. The head of the waterfront now um, at Coconos has been for like 20 years. Um, we had worked together uh, on swim staff, and um, she went to the university. She's Israeli. She went to the University of Texas in a basketball scholarship. She's a deep phys ed in the army, like he never stops. Um, and then she did uh, masters in special education teaching phys ed, and that's what she's done in Israel. She's just incredible. But the take book program is just is just so great. And this young woman who we sent loved it, loved it. She was devastated that she couldn't go back this summer. They're so and clean. So He's yeah. Like, take it off. Uh, over the river and through the woods, basically. But um, even more than Bin uh, Benjamin, I think you got someone who can match you. Yeah. Gideon is now like I mean he's you know gone to the next county. How old is he? He's uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. So he just turned two. Yeah, I was about to say they're close. Yeah. So that's great. Run, run, run. And um, was um. Uh, Paul Resnick, the director, when we were there? Yeah. Paul and I were at the seminary together. Um, Amy, um, Scott Cooper. She, she had, her kids all had different last names. Now I can't think of her last name, but she went by. Um, Amy Scott, as opposed to Amy Cooper? No, no, it was, uh, her kids were, um, um, Maybe I'm thinking of a different Amy, Moran. who's now national director. I can't, I can't think of her name. But now the director is, um, um, yeah. we call him Moose. <laughs> um, what's his name? Ari. No, um, I don't, I don't know him. He's much, yeah, he's much younger. He's younger, but, 30, um, I I can't think of his name. yeah, um, he, was outside. he worked at the same time I was there for a while. I think his brother, the uh, professor at Tufts, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Berkshire's I never really knew, although I knew many, many people who went. But um, my daughter knows like Nyack and mm -hmm. Berkshire. She, she just knows everyone. And so she knows all these kids from Berkshire. So she knows all the directors because she's done the training program for Ramon. She's, really, mm -hmm. she's also a lifer. Yeah. We, we, so I'm from upstate New York, so right. we were, I was a half hour away from being the other Berkshire as well. <laughs> so it was, it was an easy, uh, easy fit. And, uh, you know, all the kids that said from there were all, almost a lot of northern Jersey, close to the city, mm -hmm. the city, Long Island. So, you know, Jackie went for a couple of years, but then she did other programs. But, like, you know, when, when, when we started dating and, and would go to school in Forest Hill, it was amazing. Like everyone's, everyone's parents are there. The holidays, every you see everyone I do from camp is, is fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I was talking to the Fussies about you know some people I knew there. I mean, my friend who grew up there. I mean, he's been away. I mean, he graduated college in uh, '81. And then he went to Harvard Law, and he was working out. In California, he went for Disney for many years in Hawaii. He's back in New York, but I don't, his family is still out west. So I mean, his wife and daughter. But he had grown up in that shul. That was when Rabbi Boxer was around. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're um. Well, they they, they they were in contract to to basically re, like sell the shul. They were going to build a like a high rise there and and. and I don't really understand what was exactly happened. They're, they're supposed to build a brand new shul, like a smaller mm -hmm. one and smaller 
in a school, and it was going to be in the same building as this high rise. And uh, they got in contract, and then all of a sudden it fell through, and then and then they were going to do a temporary school while they tried to. I I, I didn't really understand what was going on, but um, and it, there was a lot of politics involved because there's some there's some you know very connected and wealthy people in that school and they started throwing their private life into the mix saying oh well, no i have contacts they can, we can get more money we can do this we can do that and uh it, it got feisty there there's some uh, back and forth for a while some people stopped going to shul because of oh i <laughs> i've been through things like that it's not fun and you know it's hard you know even though it was just a building but you know, people were you know, misfit in the building. They were married in the building. Yeah. It's and it's hard to make the decision that we have to create something that's smaller. It's the reality. Yeah. And frankly, even if our congregations were the same size, we would probably not build them in the same way today. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then you know, how do you move? There's been a lot of talk about. You know, can synagogues, really in urban areas, partner with someone else because it brings the cost down, and the, you know, it shares it shares the cost too for uh, utilities and things like that. But hard to find a good partner and the good contractors and mm -hmm. approve a plan that everybody approves of, and everything is just. And then, like you said, the, the people who have got the protexia, as we call it. You know, I know someone, uh, yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's not that the person isn't good, but they may not be the right one for the project. And, you know, synagogues always do better when they go outside. We are very lucky. Um, our bookkeeper who has been with us for many, many years. And actually, uh, our predecessor Stephanie is now our you know office manager. But the woman before her, um, they were both congregants, so it worked out. But if you can hire from the outside, <laughs> is the is the, uh, the synagogue financially sound? Um, we were actually in pretty good shape. Uh, our I'm really proud of the board. I keep telling them, you know, don't be afraid to tell everybody what's going on because you guys have been fiscally responsible for years. Certainly in the years that I've been here, they've been, everyone has been trying to save money every way they could. Um, and with the pandemic and uh, a drop in membership, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, but you know, we've had a lot of people who have um, worked really hard. And, and again, I think we're somewhat stable, but we're going to see what happens with membership. It always goes up and down around the high holidays. Mm -hmm. And in our case, it's not so much people are leaving to go anywhere, except out of town. They're, they're literally moving. You know, you, you want to find a lot of our congregants? Go to Florida. Go to North Carolina. It's not like people said, oh, I've had enough of this place. A lot, a lot of snowbirds? Or we have, have a yeah. few snowbirds. We're now at the point where we recognize the snowbirds because we don't have that many people. Um, and it's, uh, but I don't know. You know, we've got suddenly new families, young families. Um, we've been in touch with other people who have been talking about moving into the area. Wow, like, you know, if we have a bunch of new families and, you know, all the kids around the same age, this could really start. I mean, we're not going to go back to the numbers we had in the baby boomer years, but, you know, we could have a nice little number. So, yeah, but yeah, we have a small shul. So, the small shuls grow in drips and drabs. I mean, unless you're in some demographic area where suddenly everyone is there. But even as we've got a lot of people coming from the city and realizing how nice it is out here, still a lot of people, they're gonna to wanna to be closer to the city. So they're gonna choose where they've been. And, you know, as those places get more expensive, 
We're going to get more people coming out here, which is good, I hope. But um, yeah, we've had a lot of people who've been very generous. We do a commitment every year in the high holidays. And we've had a lot of people doing pretty well. Um, we just don't have a wealthy congregation anymore. That's the other issue. I mean, we had all the wealthy New Yorkers. Someone can drive you around, show you, oh, that was the man who set its house. And we don't have that anymore. It's a very, very middle class rule. Mm -hmm. So it's not like someone's just going to say, okay, here's a $100,000 endowment. But again, I think our, I'm very proud of the board that they have really tried to keep on top of everything. You know, for the pandemic, they they were applying immediately for the small business loans and got them. Um, you know, they uh, just thinking through a lot of stuff and how we do it. And, yeah. So I'm, again, even when I first came, there were some people, not enough, but some people were saying like, you know, we got to start thinking about continuity. We got to, yes, people are dying, but again, people are moving away. I can think of a couple of our like original members. They're wonderful people. One's down in Florida. One moved to Boston. Again, they, it's not that they wanted to leave, but lifestyle thing. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, like I, we, I think I told you on uh, the fair that White Meadow Temple is one of the most popular shoals in New Jersey to be from. Because <laughs> so many people grew up here. Yeah. So, but, uh, it's yeah. like, even for this pandemic, I have to say, my lady leadership is on top of it. I mean, you have to cajole and push. You know, it's like, there are some websites from the United Synagogue, here are websites from the Federation, they're su suggesting it. They were on it, they were on top of it. Sometimes before, you know, our movement and our uh, Federation made their suggestions. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys going? Sam Wheeler, where are you guys going? Right to Barra. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, they've got their heads screwed on there. Right, so. uh, I think that the worst thing about everything in the last six months is this. It almost seems like as if there's no end in sight. That's the, the if, if you told me there was a distinct time when everything will go back to normal, but it just be a constant uncertainty. And then just, you know, obviously with elections coming up and everything yeah. will just uh, <laughs> can't be Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, when I talk to people, that's what they're mostly concerned about. When will this end? And so unfortunately, my, my sister in Israel, her kids went or go to a school and um, in-person class and a teacher got sick. They sent up to close the school, everyone went home and lo and behold, my sister's husband started getting fever and he just got, got COVID. Oh, I'm um, so sorry. Uh, so he's, and they're, they're in, an, in a small apartment building, just a few floors, right. maybe like eight, eight units in the whole place. And there's only, I think in the whole building, there's only one other family right now, in the building. Right Everyone right else here. either had gone somewhere else or was vacant. Mm. And so they're quarantining in the building, separating from each other. And um, But he feels fine. He had a couple, some symptoms for a few days, fever, so now he's fine. And he's just yeah, separating. You know. where, where did they live again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, But they're, I think I mentioned, they're, they're planning on moving here. And, um, oh. yeah, right, right, right. You, you yeah. mentioned that. And they want to move uh, here, here, <laughs> like uh, near us, because they both both their jobs are essentially they can they can do online. So uh, uh, they want, and they have their kids. Their youngest is a year and a half, and their older child is uh, three and a half. So it's the same age. I have a brother in California. His kids are older, and so they want to move, and they want to come close to us to be around each other. So. Uh, Schools here are very good, both Goddessman and, and the public schools. So in my um, 
daughter's moved on to high school, I, and I knew it was going to be a public high school, I was not worried. Yeah. That's, that's what Jackie did. She went to yeah. private Jewish and to eighth grade and then went to a public high school. So, um, yeah, my, my sister, they're, they're very, her husband's Israeli. Like he's sort of typical Israeli. Like mm -hmm. He's Jewish, but he's not. There's like almost zero religiousness to his, his Jewish and Israeli ness. Um, my sister is very culturally Jewish, but also not very religious. Um, so they, their their kids are going to go to public school. Yeah. Um, Although we'll see when they get here. There's a lot of Israelis suddenly realize it's not just in the environment. Mm. It's not just surrounding you all the place. You have to look at being Jewish. Yeah. And suddenly, like, oh yeah, maybe we want to send our kid to day school because that's they'll get some more Hebrew, even if they speak Hebrew at the home. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of Israelis at Goddess Moon. Um, <laughs> so, it was, so, you know, they, it's a different experience. But, um, it doesn't mean they suddenly become observant, but it's like, we have a lot of Israelis who are very involved in Goddess Man. Like, well, you're yeah. going to have to excuse me because I got to yeah, shave, right. because I got to do services in 15 minutes. Yeah, I got to go to my next gig. Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Great seeing you guys again. Shabbat shalom, everyone. You have to forgive me. I've got to get ready for my next gig. Shabbat shalom. Thank you all for coming. I took out another glass.
Take another.